Welcome back everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your very own Spigot Minecraft server. If you don't know what Spigot is, it will allow you to download plugins to add extra stuff, features to your Minecraft server. You can guarantee out there most public servers will be running something like this where they can actually add the anti-cheats and the perks and fractions you know all any game modes survival hunger games anything like that you know uh, creative plot world that is plugins there that is what's adding the features into the uh, bog standard minecraft game so then all the information is down below in the video description links uh, any bits of uh, information will be jotted down there and while you're down there please like and subscribe and the first website you need to go to is spigotmc.org, link down below. You want to come and hover over the download and click on spigot slash build tools. So to get the actual jar file, we need to compile the, uh, the jar file ourselves. So simply click on the jar file. It will download, as you can see here. There we go, it's downloaded. So next thing, we need to make a folder on the desktop to build this in. So we're just going to cool, just make a simple, don't need anything fancy, just make a random folder on your desktop so you can uh, compile the software all together. Click on Downloads. We want to copy this file. Go back to there. Go back to our folder. Paste it. And now we need to double click the jar file. And that will open up the bit of software they have made to compile it. Now, if this didn't open up, if it gave you an error, you might not have the right Java installed. So you will need to um, go to one of my other videos where I show you how uh, if your server's not opening correctly and I go through how to reinstall the uh, uninstall the old Java and reinstall the new Java by Microsoft. So the next thing we need to do Choose a virgin, version, any anyone, you can go right back to 1.8 if you really wanted to, but we're going to choose the latest, like as you can see there, latest, and now we're going to go and compile it. This will take, well, not quite a while, but it will take a decent amount of time, so please be patient and let it run through, and I will be back once it is done. Right then, that is all nicely and done. It, I've closed out the program, but as you can see here, it's generated all these files, and the most important one down below is this one here. So we want to first make a folder where we're going to put this server file into. So I've made another folder here. We're going to open that up. Now, before we drop and drag this file in, we will need to make a run file to actually uh, activate this server. So. Make a text document, don't bother calling it anything, just open it up and we need to paste in a run command just like this. Now this is where you can increase the RAM for the server so it is using more resources to make the server more powerful when you have more players online. So at the moment I've got two, two gigs allocated to this. So we're simply going to go uh, down to save as, call it whatever you want to call it as long as you've got on the end dot dot b a t save it close it and as you can see here we've made a run dot bat file so we can get rid of that text document up there we don't need that anymore and we can drag and drop that file straight into there now it will not start up straight away because as you could see if we go back to here it is looking for server.jar to run this file, but that file's called that. So we need to change that to server. So we're going to go to rename, what is one of these options up here. We're going to type in simply server.jar, as you can see there, and that's renamed. And now when we run this .bat file, it's going to make a load of errors. Don't worry, it's just building the libraries and it shuts down straight away because we need to accept the EULA. Now, if that uh, CMD screen uh, popped up and went straight away, closed straight away. You need to fix your Java, as I said, it, but you probably won't be able to build the build tool. So, as I said before, look at the description. I've got a link on how to fix that problem uh, in one of my own videos. So, now we're going to uh, accept the EULA. I'm going to change this false to true. 
So we're going to go true. Save it. Exit it out. And run it. And now it will generate the server documents. As we can see here, as, we, as it's loading up, it's generating everything we need here. Let it load. And there we go. Now it's building the world. Never end. And as you can see here, we've got that special plugin folder so this is where you drop all your plugins into um in uh, to get them generated restart and then off you go so that's generated there we can come into minecraft multiplayer direct connect local host is your ip address and join the server and there you go you are in your very own minecraft server now so anyway guys i hope this has helped please leave a comment please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.